Welcome back to the Mount Man Medical YouTube channel. Thanks for hanging out. Today we're talking about the Stop the Bleed campaign. This is a national effort by the Department of Homeland Security to help civilians get trained up in basic trauma medicine. Now, I'm not the only one that thinks that trauma medicine is pretty simple and with a few details, you can really change somebody's life and save their life for the long term you got to save their life for the long term, right? You don't want to save their life for the short term. That's not really doing anybody any good. You want that casualty to, you know, stick around a little bit. You know, you did all this work. You got all bloody and sweaty. You know, you want that casualty to go places, you know, be the president. You know, that kind of stuff. That makes you feel good, you know? You save the life of a president. Saved a few presidents' lives, probably. Probably. A couple uh, short classes and you've got a good chance of taking care of somebody in a very bad situation. I think kids need this more than adults even, you know, if they come up on somebody on the playground who's bleeding and, you know, they hold direct pressure, call 911, get an adult, you can do a lot of good for somebody. So I think everybody should be learning how to stop bleeding. It's very simple. It's not at all difficult. The hardest part is that it's an emergency and you're ramped up, your adrenaline is going, and you're confused and don't know what to do and you're unsure of it. So the way around that is training. All right, guys, so the Stop the Bleed campaign has been developed by the Department of Homeland Security, and it's an effort to get more civilians trained up in how to stop bleeding, which I think is an amazing idea. There is uh, resources on the Stop the Bleed website where you can go and take some classes online or in person, depending on what you can do and what you would like to do. And this is a chance for you to go out and get this little bit of training that you might need so that if you come up on somebody who is really badly injured, you can do something about it. In my experience, the most fear that comes from a traumatic injury or from an emergency situation is not knowing what to do. And if you know what to do, that ratchets down your level of anxiety substantially because you're not unsure of what to do. You have a good clear plan and then you're acting on it. And when you're doing something, I've found that my fear levels drop dramatically. Getting this training is not that difficult. Uh, the Stop the Bleed campaign has plenty of resources on their website where you can go and get online training or training in person. If you don't know how to completely use a cat tourniquet or a soft T wide, then you're not going to be quite as efficient at stopping that bleeding. You wanna make sure that you know the proper technique because you only have a short amount of time. If you don't get all of that bleeding controlled quickly and effectively, then there's a good chance that that casualty will die and then you've just wasted all of your time. And that's not the worst part of that. Of course, someone dying is the worst part, but we can really make sure that we are utilizing our entire skill set by making sure we're getting the good training. And the Stop the Bleed has lots of good training for that. The Red Cross is also very good. Mountain Man Medical, we've got our own training program, also free. It's a pretty good course. The Mountain Man Medical course is, in my opinion, a pretty good option. Not only does it teach you the basics of trauma medicine, but it also teaches you how to use all of the gear in your trauma kit, like your cat tourniquet, your wound packing materials, pressure dressings, chest seals, all those little things that you might need in order to save somebody's life. Tourniquets are great, but they don't fix everything. Everything. They only fix your arms and legs. There's a good chance you can get injured anywhere else on your body. So making sure that you understand how to use your trauma kit is pretty essential. A lot of people will just buy this stuff, and not even pay attention to how it actually gets used. And that's kind of a waste of money, in my opinion. If you don't know how to properly pack a wound, why bother to carry a quick clot? If you're just gonna wad it up, put it on top of the wound, and not actually down into the wound to control that bleeding, you're not really doing a whole lot for that casualty. So knowing how to use those items, it's essential. If this is something that you wanna get into, make sure that you head over to the mountainmanmedical.com website, check out our training program, head over to the Stop the Bleed. I'm gonna put a link to that down in the description down below so you can find that a little more easily. And make sure that you're telling other people. This is an important skill set that everybody should know. I think these are things that should, they should be teaching in high school at the very least. I mean, they could be teaching this stuff in elementary school. I've been teaching my kids how to do this stuff and they, they take to it. They don't have any problems with it. They're totally capable of learning and being able to save each other's life, especially since my boys are little savages. They're always running around getting into some sort of shenanigans. I want those brothers to be able to take care of the other brother 
who's been injured. Now, that's a pretty reasonable thing for a parent to want, I think. Growing up in a large family full of boys like I did, you know, we get into some shenanigans. There's some pretty sketchy things that I did as a kid that my parents never even knew about. And uh, being able to control bleeding would have been a pretty good thing to know. I mean, no one died. I mean, mostly. You never know when you're gonna need it. So you wanna make sure that you're able to whip out those skills at a moment's notice and get rid of all of that fear in an emergency situation. Training is the best way to do that. On After the training comes gear. And once you know how to use the gear because of the training that you already had, you're gonna be a lot more effective, much more efficient, much more calm in a very bad situation. People are gonna be looking to you for the source of their leadership and comfort, and this is how that you start on that path. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. Thanks for hanging out and checking this video out. Uh, I think the Stop the Bleed campaign is a very good thing for bringing attention and awareness to how simple trauma medicine can be. So if this is something that you want to check out, head over to the mountmanmedical.com website, check out our Yellowstone and Wind River trauma kits, and be ready for whatever the mountain throws at you. I'll catch you guys in the next one.